pyroclastic. All right. What's good with everybody, man? Just want to check in with you guys. Um, got some updates for you. Um, I want to show you guys what I've been doing, what's been going on with the uh, the rigs that are mine Ethereum. And we actually switched the 3060 card to mine Ethereum as well. Um, Cortex didn't really do anything too good for me, but like I said, I'm fast with it. If it doesn't do something in a day, I'm out. Um, I'm going to change my ways. I'll probably stretch it to a week next time when I do try a solo coin. And I have an idea of what I'm going to do next. Just don't want to say anything here just yet. I'm going to do some more research on it, and then we'll get it going. But for now, we're all we're high, we're, we're mining 100% Ethereum. All right? And this, is, this video is going to be a little specific uh, because I've been chatting with somebody today. Um, shout out Rootkit, by the way, new subscriber to the channel. Um, I've been chatting with this person and I, and I, and I was, you know, he, they, they gave me some, um, some overclock settings for, for my GeForce, uh, 1660 Ti Asus with Samsung GDDR6, uh, the 2B, uh, the 2B version, the 2B, uh, BIOS version. Um, I've been sitting here trying to figure out how to get it past 28 mega hash. We just surpassed that. Uh, we just did our thing. <laughs> Definitely. Let me refresh it because actually I know it's a little higher than that right now. So let's refresh that. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? We're we're hashing off right now on this on Asus, Asus, whatever. <laughs> We're hashing off right now with the 1660 Ti. Um, it wasn't getting over 28 mega hash. Now we're getting over 31. Now we're doing 31.5 mega hash, and that's amazing. It's in line with the rest of the rest of the rig. Now the rig is fully optimized. I would like to say thank you to Rootkit because I wouldn't have dabbled with these numbers if it wasn't for you. I went back and did some research, and I found that there's some good clock settings for people who have the 2B. Like I said, the 2B. This this version, people who have this version of the Samsung GDDR6 Ti, uh, 1660 Ti, we can't get over 28. But use these settings, and I promise you, you will get over 28. You'll hit 30 to 31. Um, yeah. So the core, uh, the core clock is the core is going to be set at 1050. Let's put it there. The memory, put it at 4000. Don't be scared. Put it at 4000. I know. Scared me too when I first had it. I was like, whoa, what's going on? And then uh, power limit, honestly, I put I left it at 70. People can put it up to 85. People can put it down to 55. People can put it up to, um, I went, I'm sorry, I wouldn't go below 61 because that's what it's using. So I wouldn't go below 61. So you put 65 if you want, whatever. I don't believe that matters too much, but mm, superstitions are superstitions, right? Whatever. But we finally got it. I uh, just wanted to show, because I've been working on this all day. <laughs> Ever since uh, Rootkit commented on the video um, of the first mining rig build, if you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. Uh, he commented on the video, and I was like, what's going on? Why am I not trying to optimize this version of the 1660 Ti that no one has any good clocks for? I found someone who has good clocks. Now I'm going to show you. This person right here, this is what I was going off of on Hive, uh, Hive OS forms. I found this form, went down here, found this sheet. Didn't know, I, I had to read a little bit into the comments. This person is, um, I believe, using the same exact one. C2B, da, 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 da. They're only hashing at 28. Then they started playing with it. Now, this is also the one I tried before. I did try the very last one. That gives invalid shares to me. Maybe it'll help you guys out. You can possibly get 32. All right, so do that. Check that out. Do that. This is a very valuable video for anybody who has that version. So please check this out. I will be specific in the video description. Uh, so hopefully people that are looking can find it. Now this rig is actually hashing at 160 uh, mega hash. 160.6 mega hash. And uh, we did another thing. We renamed all the rigs. This one is Icarus. 
So meet Icarus for the second time, you know. Icarus is flying definitely high right now, close to the sun. <laughs> if we go back to Hive OS, uh, we'll see. I, I'm, sure, I'm gonna show you guys how I, I renamed. I renamed the rigs, so I'm renaming the rigs after, um, after you know, after gods. Says you know I'm a dork, and that's what I'm into. Uh, so this one's named Prometheus. That was the the newer rig we just built. You can see the video, the ultimate rig uh, build guide. Just go ahead and check that out. Um, on the page Prometheus was built we're gonna still do some overclock settings for Prometheus because he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing in certain areas um, I want this one to be the this one should be getting a little bit higher hash rate because we got 1660 supers and those should be getting 32 all the way around so I should be able to bump these up but I'm gonna once again play with the settings see what I can do right now they're sitting right like, like that so yeah, um, that's what we're doing there. And if you look over here, to two miners uh, mining pool, you can see we got everything. I even have this one up here, the 3060 Ti gaming rig. We named Nix, um, another goddess. But uh, yeah, so we're over here just uh, trying to just hash it out. So far, this is what we've earned so far since we started. Uh, not too much, uh, but once again, we only started, I think, two weeks ago with one rig, and then we just add another rig about three days ago, three or four days ago. So this is our hash right now. Uh, everything's running smooth. Haven't got any invalids. Let's go check out the actual, um, you know, the GUI for Icarus. This is Icarus. Icarus, say hello. This is Icarus. We're reading off Icarus's uh, GUI right now. See what's going on. Still hashing at 31.5. That number two right there. The number two GPU. That's the one where that is the the 2B Asus um, 1660 Ti. We're still hashing it out. It is it is at a at a higher temperature, but that's what you pay for when you when you go higher uh 61 watts it is the lowest almost of all of them it was the lowest all, all the way it was at 58 watts but we kicked it up uh in in memory clock so it's definitely going to use a little more power we still have no invalid shares as of yet um everything's still great running smooth we're still getting all the shares that actually went through two more while i had it on these settings so it accepted those shares uh moving pretty smoothly you know Everything's sitting at 31 or 32, looking beautiful. We're doing it big now, guys. Prometheus is still running smooth, still looking good. Still running hot. <laughs> Definitely running hot. These two right here are running the hottest of the cards, but, you know, it's okay. We're going to figure that out, like I said. We'll probably either take down their settings and hopefully do something better, but we'll see. Let me turn this flash on. Get a little better visual on these. Finally, last time I didn't have flash on it either. Now I do. Now I do. So you can see everything. You can see everything. Everything. There it goes. All right, guys. I just wanted to update you and tell you what was going on. Show you that you can. If you have an Asus, um, Asus, whatever, 1660 Ti with the 2B uh, BIOS, you can get higher than 28. We can bust it up to 30 uh, mega hash. So, once again, shout out to Rootkit for making me burst out of my bubble and climb new heights. This is this video is for you. So, add that onto your rig. Let's keep hashing it out, guys. This is OptiTech Mining. We're out. <laughs>